Okay, so today we're going to be looking at a word problem for our third grade class. Um, and we're going to use base 10 blocks and a number line to represent a subtraction problem and how we solve it. So I'm going to go ahead and read the problem out loud. It says, Sophie has 104 stickers. She decided to give away 27 stickers to Leah. How many stickers will Sophia have left after, after giving some away? Okay, so I went ahead and I circled the, we boxed in the important parts of our question. And I'll lay it right here on the screen just so we can see. So we have a total of 104 that Sophie had originally started with. And she decides to give away 27. The question is, how many will we have left once she gives Leah some of her stickers? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and represent this with base 10 blocks. Okay, we're going to write this out as 1, 0, 4 in the corresponding place value marks. Okay. And we write it like this because... Let's remember when we decompose numbers, we write it as such. We write it as one, zero, zero. Then we have zero in the tens place, so it'll be zero followed by another zero. And then finally, we have four in the ones place. And after we total all those up, we see that we have 104. Okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Back to our original writing. I'm actually going to show it in blue and have it one in the hundreds place, zero in the tens place, and four in the ones place. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and represent this using base 10 blocks. So we have one in the hundreds place, which we'll, I'll use with one hundreds piece, zero in the tens place, and then four, we're going to represent it with four individual cube pieces okay and I do want to point out before we continue any further that because we have a zero here in the tens place there's a misconception that this place has no value whatsoever but I want to remind you that this value is distributed between the hundreds and the tens place because if I were to rewrite this as 9 individual tens rods one two three four five six seven eight nine and if I were to, wanted to add one more it wouldn't be right for us to say that we have ten in the tens place value so what we do is instead of writing ten here we take this one and we send it over this way, take away this nine. So this one comes here and we have the zero still remaining here. And this whole piece resembles exactly the whole hundreds piece here, okay? So that's how we get the one in the hundreds and the zero in the tens place. So just because there's a zero doesn't necessarily mean that that place value has no value whatsoever. All right, so now that we've cleared that up, we're gonna go ahead and look back at our word problem. And it says, Sophie, Sophia had 104 stickers and she's giving away 27. So we're gonna go ahead and represent this 27 and show how we can take that away and use base 10 blocks to get the answer. So we're gonna go ahead and write 20, seven, two in the tens place, seven in the ones place, I'll represent this with our base 10 blocks. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and start our subtraction. Let's first start off in the ones place. We see that we have four in the top value and seven in the bottom value, and we notice that it would be phys it would be impossible for us to subtract. 7 from 4 without getting a negative number. So what do we do? 
what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look over to our neighbor in the tens place and potentially borrow from that value in order to make this a greater value. As we said before, we see zero in the tens place. And so there's nothing for us to take from there in order to add over here to make a greater value. So what we have to do now is to again look to our neighbor and borrow the one from the hundreds place and represent the number like we did back when we decomposed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this whole hundreds piece and I'm gonna break it down into 10 individual rod pieces. I'm gonna take this. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the tens place, which again represents the exact same as one whole hundreds place that would normally be here. Okay, now that we do have value here in the tens place, we're going to go ahead and borrow one of these individual rod pieces and move it over to the ones place, break it down so that this one's going to have a higher value than the four and be subtracted by seven. So I'm going to take this away. Move it here. Break it down and substitute it for ten pieces. So we see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? So now this changes from four to fourteen. And we see we can be able to subtract this 7 from this 14. So I'm going to go ahead and remove a block piece by piece from each of the 7 and the 14. But because we're in third grade, we know how to skip count. And so to make it a little bit quicker, I'm going to go ahead and grab 2 from the 7, then 2 from the 14. Take 2 more from the 7, 2 more from the 14. 2 from the 7, 2 from the 14, and then I'll take 1 because that's all we have left. And then one from the 14. All right, and now that we're all out of blocks here, we'll go ahead and erase this. What we'll, this has changed, it's no longer 14. And we'll count these to see what we have left. We have two, four, six, seven pieces left. So we can write that as seven, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and move over to the tens place. And now that we have values here, in the tens, we see this is nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're gonna subtract two from that. So we'll just go ahead and grab these two pieces, one, two, and two pieces from here, one, two. Okay, so there's no more twos. Erase this. This nine is no longer nine, and we'll count it to see exactly what we have left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces left. So we can write that as seven in the tens place. We have seven in the ones place. And after we've subtracted, we have a final total of 77. This is the remaining stickers that Sophie will have after she gives away 27 to Leah. Okay, I want to have another representation of the same answer that we got from our previous example. Okay, so from our word problem, we remember we have 104 stickers in total that Sophie has, and she gives away 27 of them to her friend Leah. So we subtract those, and from the previous example, we found that our total remaining was 77. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and check this using a number line. And the way we do that is we're going to have our total number. 104, that's where we're going to start at. And we can see we have it labeled 100, 90, 80, and 70 with 10 hashes in between each segment. So we're starting from 104, and we know our number is 27. This is the number of spaces we're going to be counting back from. And from this number, we know that 7 is in the ones place, and 2 is in the tens place. Okay? So from here, we're going to count back that many spaces. I'm going to first start off counting off individually from the ones place. So we're going to go back one, two, three, 
four spaces, and I'm gonna stop right here at 100. So we see that we have seven in the one space, and I only counted to four. And the reason why I did that is because it got us to a number, 100, that'll be relatively easy for us to count back. But instead, we'll be using the value of the tens place, okay? So I'm gonna make note of the numbers that I've counted off here. We have four, and I'm gonna take four from this ones place, which gives us three, okay? So now I'm gonna move over to the tens place, and I'm gonna count back, instead of counting back by each individual hash, we're gonna count back 10 spaces. So that way we'll be able to get to our destination a little bit quicker. So from 100, I'm gonna jump 10 spaces back to 90, 10 more spaces back to 80. Okay, so we can see that this piece has 10 spaces, this has 10 spaces, okay? And if we have 10 and 10 together equals 20, so then we can eliminate that place value. We are finished counting here. Let's go back. We're not finished. We have to look at our ones place because we counted back four spaces, but we didn't count back the remaining number here. So we're gonna go ahead and take this number and count from our place value at 80. Okay, three spaces, one, two, three. And it brings us to this spot right here. Okay, and so to check this, we're gonna add up all the numbers that we have um, on top of our uh, skipping points. We have three plus four plus two tens, which we know to be 20. Okay, we're gonna add those together and we're gonna find that three plus four equals seven, bring down the two equals 27. So it's the exact same as the number we're counting away from. All right, so now that we know that our subtracting was correct. Let's go ahead and find out the exact point of where we landed. So starting from 70, we're gonna count 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, and lastly, 77. Okay, and we can see that this 77 is the exact same 77 that we found in our previous example.